Vehicles have played a large role in our society for the past few decades. In this video, we're going to see the 10 largest vehicles ever built, which will blow your mind. You may have watched some of these vehicles in your favorite movies. Stay till the end to find out more. Now, let's get right into it. Number 10. The Marauder Described as the world's most unstoppable vehicle on top gear, the Marauder is rugged and robust, demonstrating outstanding cross-country agility. The Marauder is one of the best military vehicles accessible to civilians. The car has been in production since 2008, and there's been over 300 units produced ever since. The South African company mostly sells these vehicles to world armies and wealthy individuals, with the Middle East being a prime market. According to sources, the Marauder can accommodate up to 10 people. The car has a top speed of 75 miles per hour and has a flexible payload which enables the fitting of different weaponry, a feature that obviously is not allowed for civilians. The Marauder doesn't come cheap, as you'd have to part with $523,000 to get yourself one. It's the perfect doomsday vehicle as it can accommodate 10 people and can drive over just about any terrain. Not only is the Marauder an armored vehicle, but it's also mine protected. It's been tested to have found to have survived a detonation of a 155 mm high explosive airburst ammunition or HEAB, as well as 14 kilograms of TNT under its wheels. Another 8 kilograms of TNT under the hull also could not kill it, so it's almost indestructible. Number 9. The Boeing 727 Jet Limo Whenever people talk about Boeing 727 Jet Limo, the biggest question is what to call it. Boeing 727 Limo or Jet Mercedes? Well, if you ask me, Jet Mercedes kinda sounds cool. This was one of the car projects that excited audio enthusiasts in the 2000s. The car came about when some guys decided to convert a Boeing 727 into a gigantic limousine. It weighs a whopping 24,000 pounds. And the most exciting part is it's street legal. This is actually a Boeing 727-24C that someone cut the wings off of and tail from and strapped onto a Mercedes-Benz bus. One can only assume that the idea was to create a novel but still a very luxury way to travel by car and at the same time find an alternate use for an aircraft that could no longer be used for flying. On that second count, the project was a real success. The Jet Limo was sold at an auction for $275,000 in 2007. The Boeing 727 Jet Limo can accommodate up to 50 people and is currently on sale for $1 million. There's also the option of renting it at $100,000 per month. According to sources, the Boeing 727 Jet Limo is mounted on a Mercedes bus. Number 8. Bedouin Caravan The Bedouin Caravan made its way into the Guinness Book of World's Records in 1993 for being the biggest two-wheeled trailer in the world. As expected, the Bedouin caravan was commissioned by His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayan, more properly known as the Rainbow Sheikh. The man is known to have a thing for the bazaar when it comes to his vehicles. It took a couple of months to build the machine. According to Arabian Business, the Sheikh wanted to have the largest wheels he could get and the one used to transport oil rigs seemed plausible at the time. The trailer measures 20 meters in length. 12 meters in height and 12 meters in width. The trailer has a total of eight bedrooms and four garages to keep the Sheik's favorite toys. Number seven, Sheik Hamad's Globe Caravan. Yep, you heard it right. These caravans both belong to the Highness, Sheik Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayan. Dude must have had several dreams of an apocalypse. That's the only explanation as to why he commissioned two gigantic caravans. The Globe Caravan was reportedly commissioned because he likes to spend time in the desert and the trailer provides the perfect getaway. According to sources, exactly one millionth the size of the actual Earth, this out-of-the-world caravan, the Globe Caravan, has nine bedrooms and nine bathrooms spread over three floors. The caravan is self-sufficient and the Sheik can spend the year in the desert inside it without having to worry about the rest of humanity. The Globe Caravan is towable when attached to a jumbo jet, that is, or maybe the Sheik's custom Black Spider concept car, which made the news recently after it was parked illegally and deemed too big to tow by the police in Valencia. Now that's funny. The Sheik contributed to the Emirates National Auto Museum, which is just a few minutes' drive from Dubai. It's also free to visit and something that should be on your bucket list should you decide to go to the Middle East. Number 6. Dodge Power Wagon this gigantic pickup truck is a supersized replica of a classic 1950s Dodge Power Wagon, roughly eighth time the size of the original Dodge. 
The gigantic vehicle weighs more than 50 tons and features an entire apartment inside. Commissioned by a wealthy Sheikh Hamad, the truck's interior boasts four air-conditioned bedrooms, a living room, a bathroom, and a tailgate terrace. Not surprisingly, this monstrous vehicle holds the title of the largest pickup truck ever made. If you had the sources to build your own custom vehicle, what would it be? Let me know in the comments if you thought the world's largest truck with all its weight cannot move. Well, you're wrong. In fact, it was built out of the museum and was later moved inside. The truck is placed in UAE Abu Dhabi Shanail Emirates National Car Museum. Number 5. The Terex Busiris RH400 This is my personal favorite. What is yours? Let us know in the comments section. This movable vehicle is found in many mining areas across the world. According to sources, the RH400 has a max power of 3,360 kilowatts and can manage up to 50 cubic meters bucket capacity. The Terex Busiris RH400 is popular in pop culture and has made an appearance in the Transformers film playing a role. If you know which part, do comment. In terms of displacement, the RH400 has a 69-liter, 16-cylinder engine which produces up to 4,500 HP net power. It has a fuel capacity of 4,226.8 gallons, which makes it a beast when it comes to mining. There is not a lot of mining vehicles with this kind of capacity. The maximum travel speed is 1.4 miles per hour, which is understandable given the weight of the vehicle. The Busiris RH400 is a front shovel excavator weighing approximately 889 tons. The undercarriage width is 8.6 meters and the crawler length is 10.98 meters. The Terex Busiris RH400 costs approximately around $11 million. Number 4. The Belaz 75710 The massive ultra-class haul truck is 20.6 meters in length, equal to the length of two double-decker buses parked end-to-end, -end, 8.16 meters tall and 9.87 meters wide. Construction for a mining company, the Belaz 75710 weighs in at 360 tons, which is more than a fully loaded Airbus A380 passenger plane. It has a payload capacity of 408,233 tons, the largest capacity of any dump truck. You might be wondering, what's with the long range of numbers? The 75710 represents the apex of load-carrying vehicles, able to operate in some of the harshest conditions in the world, down to negative 60 degrees centigrade and almost 5 kilometers above sea level. It also outperforms its nearest rival in terms of capacity by a clear 90 tons. The Bell S75710 dump truck comes with a price tag ranging from 6 to $7.5 million. Two more Bell S 75710s are currently under construction. The price tag for anyone considering buying one, a little over $6 million. The current holder of the Guinness Book of World Record title for the largest dump truck in the world is the US-built Liebherr T28 2B, which has a capacity of 363 tons. So the Belarusian giant could prove to be a popular new addition for mining corporations. Number 3. Caterpillar 797B Now the third one, the 797B is a second generation model in Caterpillar's 797 range of mechanical powertrain haul trucks manufactured specifically for high production mining and heavy duty construction application. Following in the footsteps of its mammoth predecessor, this model has a payload capacity of 345 tons, one of the largest in the world. The tire size of the 797 is over 13 feet in diameter. That's more than double the height of two average size men. To transport the six tires before assembly, it requires two semi-trailer loads. The truck is about the size of two and a half story, 3,800 square foot house. Although the price varies based on individual customer specifications, each 797 costs approximately 5 million US dollars and Caterpillar estimates to have a 20-year service life. Number 2. NASA Crawler If you are into space and science, then this is for you. The second place on our list is the NASA Crawler. In 1965, NASA developed two crawler transporters to carry rockets to their launch pads. At the time, these massive space shuttle transporters, measuring 39,929 meters long and 34,747 meters wide and over 6,096 meters in height, were the largest self-powered land vehicles in the world. 
the NASA crawler is 55 years old now, and despite their great size, the control of the crawlers are actually extremely precise. They use laser guidance system and hydraulic controls and jacks designed to keep a skyscraper-sized rocket stable to within 10 minutes of arc. The current upgrades are the first the crawlers have seen since 2003. After completion, the Crawler 2 will increase its current lifting capacity set during the shuttle program from 5,443 tons to 8,164 tons. NASA plans to use one of the crawlers to carry NASA's space launch system with the Orion spacecraft atop it from the Vehicle Assembly Building. And at number 1 of the biggest vehicle ever made, the Bagger 288. On its completion in 1978, Bagger 288, a bucket wheel excavator that stands 94.79 meters tall and is 214.88 meters long and weighs 41,276.9 tons, superseded NASA's crawler transporter as the largest land vehicle in the world, and it still holds the title today. This monstrous machine is used in the Humbach strip mine in Germany and excavates up to 240,000 tons of coal a day. That's equivalent to the size of a 30.5 meter deep soccer field. The 288 has an enormous 70 foot wheel containing 20 buckets, each scooping 530 cubic feet. These massive buckets can scoop up to 12 tons of material in a second, the equivalent of 10 mid-sized cars. And here's a fun fact, Bagger 288 has been featured in several movies and games, including Ghost Rider, Hunger Games, Call of Duty, and Modern Warfare 3. To operate the Bagger, three shifts a day, five people per shift, keep the Bagger 288 continuously mining coal. If you were about to buy one of these, what one would it be? Let us know in the comments. If you want us to do a particular topic, do drop your ideas in the comments. Do remember to subscribe and like for more cool videos like this one, and I will see you next time.